Hello, good evening, friends. <coughs> My name is Devan Krishnan Bhakar. I am from Sindhu, Jharkhand, and now today I am here to <coughs> do my project on the topic Google Documents Wizard. In which I have to create a Google document of having four pages. <coughs> and these are the topics which I have to complete and the features which I have given. <coughs> In this way, I have created one Google document which I want to show you. This is the document which I have created related to this project. <coughs> now, in the first place, <coughs> write the learning objectives of the chapter. For this, I have created the first page as an index, and the page is this learning objectives. In this, I have uh, taken one uh, insert table and one cell only, and I have uh, put it as a enter and enter again and again. So it becomes like this. <coughs> it will become as a border, and given the right click for the table properties, and given the color, table border color, and the thickness. Format stick the border should be and table alignment should be centered. I have given OK. In this, <coughs> I have given the heading, the topic which, uh, which is important uh, hypertext markup language. <coughs> the learning objectives for this, I have taken this is a image, sample image for HTML. I have used. And these are the learning objectives for this topic. Insert a graphic within a web page, create a table within a web page, insert heading level within a web page, and insert ordered and unordered list within a web page, and how to create a web page. For this, I have set some indent setting which I have to show in the class. This is the way to increase or decrease the indent. It is not a thing that you can shift it to the right side or the left side you can do it in the same way to the right side or to the left side to adjust the uh, text in our page in, a, in the border of the page in the top I have given uh, the school name the class for, the, uh, for which the topic is and the subject and I have make it I have taken this font Georgia and make it uh, italic bold and underline uh, and given a font color from this place in this way I have created the header in a cell I have created a table with the index what the pages are containing in the Bottom of the <coughs> page, I have given the footer, the name, and the school name. In your there is now from which I am. From this place, I have taken explore. <coughs> Taking explore option gives you the uh, matter related to this W3 schools, the website which we can use to learn HTML and these are the images uh, which, which we can use in our uh, uh, document this is the HTML uh, image which I have taken in this on the third page <coughs> uh, second page I have given a uh, second page I have given a sample program for creating, for inserting objects, how we can insert the objects, and the second of the second image contains the program to insert a table in a web page. And after that, I have given a link for the website from where we can learn the HTML language in a very mannered way. You can click on this and the website will open 
In the left side, you will get <coughs> all types of HTML program. And on the bottom of this page, I have given a useful YouTube video link. From this, you can start the video. video. To know about the HTML language in a brief. related to this uh, topic uh, this is a google form that i have taken to get the responses from the students and uh, you can copy this link to the web page and uh, It will open in Google form. The internet connection, I think, is not, but it is getting reconnected. Now you can uh, see the, the Google form which I have created to get the quick test from the students. You can enter the email address, the student name, which is mandatory. And the question has given points, and I have made this Google form as a quiz. <coughs> And e, there are five questions, and each question contains two marks. This is the response, progress bar, and then in the last, I can submit get the responses. So in this way, I think I have completed all the object, all the objectives. Let me check again. In the second page, it's going to talk with the necessary information. I have created the images, even the images, useful links related to the website and the videos also. In the third page, I have given some assessment also, like multiple choice question with the help of Google Form. And I have to share this file with one of my friends. And the features which I have used, a table which I have used for the index also, images, hyperlinks, hyperlinks for the uh, to go on the uh, W3 school website tables and I have new indentions formatting from the formatting toolbar page border I have given page color I have given for the page color I can tell you from the file you can go on from the file you can go on page setup and on page setup you will get the option for the page color, from this page I have given the page color. We can change the end orientation of the page from here also. And uh, use explore feature, I have uh, used the explore feature also to get the related images or extra activities or extra notes on the same topic. Keep note tool to add some information you can have save on keep. For this, Notepad and use. And if I want to take any images, so I can select it from here. Like 
this I can take this one I will click on done so it will be copied to my uh, Google document so in this way we can use the notepad from keep and I have uh, added the header and footer to my document also so in the last I'm going to share my document with one of my colleagues and the email address and then in this I have I can share we can share the document to my collaborators or with, with my friends also in this I have completed all the tasks Thank you and have a nice day.